Exactly. Yeah, totally. So now let's look at it through the Marxist religious lens, right? So let's, what, how would they see it? So what I've described so far is just the administrative apparatus. Mm -hmm. This administrative apparatus could be fairly responsible. It could be grounded largely in reality. It could be actually looking at, mm -hmm. you know, whether I guess it has to be by definition disparate outcomes, mm -hmm. trying to figure out where's good money yeah. go. Where, but let's that this thing is in all government bureaucracies are susceptible to be infiltrated and subverted by Marxists because that's what Marxists want mm -hmm. is to run those. Mm -hmm. They want to control the means of production. Exactly, and so. What would the Marxist religion do looking at this situation? Well, what they're going to see is that the people who are the losers in society, they don't have the correct interpretation mm -hmm. for why that is. There are people out there who are not very productive. Mm -hmm. they, oh, that's not their fault. They've been alienated from their true nature. Mm -hmm. They have mm -hmm. these problems. Mm -hmm. It's not their fault. Capitalism's actually keeping them down by holding them to a standard that's not possible. So what do we have to do? Well, those people, they're... They're, who are people supposed to be? We're supposed to be socialists. Mm. Well, the people who understand more of that, who have a socialist value structure, mm. they're on the right path already. So we've got to throw money at them mm. and the people who are the victims of the capitalist machine. We got to throw money at them. And so what you have at that point is like the incentives are not even just misaligned by, you know, kind of a poisonous empathy or whatever. The incentives actually at that point start rewarding cult members literally cult members mm. and then the tokens like whether it's if it's socialism it's you know the masses the people yep. the poor people and if it's if it's um crt it's the racial minorities yep. and if it, you know we could do the whole thing so they have this new idea that the people who have the right cult mentality and the tokens they hold up are the just winners of that redistribution of mm. wealth and productivity and it's the worst when they are giving that and it, the preponderance of it in all practical experiments goes to the loyalist to the party. In other words, the people who have joined the cult. Right. So at the end of the day, what you're doing is you're establishing a, a corrupt state religion that is a religion of socialism that believes man's true human nature is socialist. Mm -hmm. And the people who are more awake to that deserve more of the fruits of society, even though they're not earning them because they're just more virtuous in the right. virtue system that you have. Uh, and it, it, it all makes sense when you understand that this is really what it's all about. It's it, not an economic system at all. No, it's the, yeah, the state religion is the best way to frame it. And the, the most, I don't know if it's the most, a very pernicious aspect of that is you're now rewarding those that are most loudly proselytizing the state religion right the non-productive right. people with the fruits of the productive people and the more you do that the more you reduce the incentive for the productive to be productive or you incentivize them to leave right to go right. somewhere else where they can keep the fruits of their labor yeah and so this thing self-destructs right yeah. like because eventually there's nothing else left to steal right so it's like, pretty funny and and people should look up the graphic or read the book atlas shrugged if you want to see this played out right it just yeah it, well of course yeah but the the graphic for degrowth communism which was published in their, what's their magazine? Is it called the Monthly Review, I think, is the Socialist sure. Magazine. I don't peruse a lot of Socialist <laughs> Magazines. I don't know. I read their old books. But yeah. they've got this emblem. If you look up Degrowth Communism in Socialist Review, mm -hmm. and the picture, there it is. It's a drain. It is a oh, circle sure. of energy going down <laughs> to a hole in the middle <laughs> to a circular bioeconomy. So the claim is that they are going to be able to make it shrink the the economy shrink it down to the circular middle, a much smaller economy and then just keep it at that level forever. Wow. But the image, the drawing itself it's is water going down a drain. So, what that is is productivity and value and capital and So is this like brutal irony or is you know or what it's Does, like they take this seriously. Do you, yeah, they do. And, but you want to know what I you say is a brutal irony? Yeah. It's like when the churches put up a sign that say the most powerful physicians on your knees. Uh, They're so caught up in their interpretation. Right. Of, oh, that means praying. Right, 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 right. That they say something that any fifteen year old boy would have been like, right, dude. Right, no. right. <laughs> I think that's what that is. Wow. And they're super proud of this. It's like the, the, the picture has a citation, for God's sake. Wow. Holy shit. 